Hey guys, this is part 3 of my Pop in a Box haul of subscriptions um, and things I have purchased from Pop in a Box the web, like the website. Um, I will leave a link to a 5% discount code in the description. Um, if you don't know what Pop in a Box is, if you watch part 1, I put a detailed description of it. Um, but Pop in a Box is a subscription based website for Funko products. Um, but if you go to part one of this little series, uh, it has a, a deeper explanation and description of Pop in a Box. Uh, let me get right into it. So I'll grab the first pop and show you what it is. I'll move a little Deadpool. And there it is. Um, is Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. I do like Groot. I do have a few different Groot pop vinyls as is. Um, it is a bobblehead. <laughs> um, it seems that most of the Marvel bob, um, pop vinyls are bobbleheads. So this is the front of the box. This is the side. The back of the box. The concept art. The top of the box and the bottom of the box. So I will pause the video and take them out so you can see them. And this is Groot. Um, he is a bobblehead, but because of that, he is a little bit top heavy, so he does tend to fall quite often. That's why I'm holding him. But he does have a lot of detail. Um, like texturing. Camera's picking it up better than I can see it with my eyes. This top. This blank expression. I do like how they put even like the dark circles around his eyes, which is really nice. So that's Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and I will get the next pop ready for you. So this is the next pop that I got with my subscription, which is Black Canary from the Arrow TV series. Um, I do love Arrow. Very, very fond of it. Same as the Flash. Um, so this is Black Canary. A little closer. So this is the front of the box. The side of the box. The back of the box. I do hope to collect all of them. I've not got all of them yet, but I hope to collect them all. The concept art. the top of the box and the bottom of the box with the big sticker there's a big sticker on it just sort of gently around this bit it says 14 uh, from, the sh from the manufacturer that they'd got it from um, sometimes I've noticed that they come with stickers on the bottom of like 14 plus uh, some so most of them don't but some of them do which is a bit weird but Oh well, what can you do? So I will get her out of the box for you to see her. So this is Black Canary and she is a solid pop. Um, she's not a bobblehead. She is really nicely done. I do like her. So a bit of close up. One thing is the camera's picking up that her neck and head are different colours. Um, they're not, it's just the shadowing of the room. And they are the same colour. It's not that it's been mispainted. Uh, I'll get the next pop daddy. And this is my next figure that I got. Um, I believe I did get it from Pop in a Box. Uh, I've had it for quite a while. Um, so I do believe this was from Pop in a Box. Um, 
and it is the blue flat the blue lantern or version of the flash in metallic so he's very shiny uh, he has sorry for how shiny the box is he is in a pop vinyl protector because he for me i always put my pops if they're got stickers on in a protector because they are a little bit more exclusive a little bit more rare and a little bit more expensive to replace so this is a Fugitive Toys exclusive, which I do believe is the Australian distributor for Funko. Um, either Australian or American, or I'm completely wrong. <laughs> um, so that is the front of the box. That is the side. That is the back of the box with the rest of the collection. And that is the concept art that is the top of the box and that is the bottom and I will get them out for you to see close up and this is the blue lantern version of the flash Um, I haven't actually taken them out of the box before so I'm seeing the rest of his costume for the first time and it's looking amazing Um, with the blue and the black it's really nice. And I do love the logo on his chest. It's really nice. and re I'm smiling <laughs> while looking at it because I hadn't seen it out of the box before. Um, there is a little paint mutts error. Um, but you don't really see that in the box at all. So I'm not too fussed about that. Um, I'm really happy. Even those little tiny little shoe wings. Uh, I'll move him to the side so I can show you the pop boxes, protectors that I use. Um, because I showed the solid pop protector in part one, I believe. But this is the soft plastic one that I use for all the other pop vinyls in my collection. Um, I put them in. These are not official Funko um, protectors at all. Me just barreling it way through. So that's what the box looks like. Uh, there was 25 in the box. Um, that's what they look flat pack, just a lump of plastic. Um, but they do protect them quite well. It's, say. You're taking it, imagine a pop to a convention, or like me, they're a sticker, and you want to protect them a bit better, then it will do that. Um, if you're transporting them to and from a convention, say, or uh, an event where you want it to be protected, these will be quite good, because if you drop the pop down the stairs, or drop it by accident in this, um, 99%, 90 percent of the time, it will protect it. They might, depending obviously depending on the fall. If you're throwing it down, full force down the stairs, then of course it's going to be damaged. But say it fell off the shelf onto the floor and the protector, it's most likely going to be protected as long as it's not falling on say like a stone or a nail or a shoe. Um, but if it's fallen and in, compared to a normal pop, we might get a few little bumps and dents on the corners or something like that, this should protect it. Obviously, I can't guarantee a 100% protect it, um, so don't take my word for it, but so far they've protected mine really well, and I've always been happy with them. Um, same as the solid fungal ones, which I showed in part one. Um, I've always been really happy with them to protect all my pop vinyls. Um, but we'll go quick go back to the flash which I'm really happy with so I will get the next pop vinyl ready for you to see and this is my next pop vinyl for which I got um, I think it was actually for my second subscription box um, that I got um, my first one had been just a single pop subscription because I'd never used it before I was about apprehensive of popping a box because at the time I couldn't find many reviews or sort of unboxings at the time 
um, so I'd only did one box subscription, so this was in my first two box subscription, um, which is Sam Winchester from Supernatural. And it is an Underground Toys exclusive because this is the bloody metallic version of it instead of the plain, like you see in the photo, um, the plain Sam Winchester. This is the bloodied metallic version, which is really cool. I was so happy when I got it. So this is the front of the box, the side of the box. The back of the box. I can't wait. I really want to collect them all. The concept art. The top of the box. And the bottom of the box. Now to get them out to show you. So this is Bloodied Metallic Sam Winchester. Um, one thing that I do find really cool is that all the blood splatters for any blood splatter pops. Um, are completely unique so you it's very unlikely you find two pops that have the same blood splatter pattern and um, but i do love the detail in sam like his little hunting knife it would have been cool if he did a little played sharp but that's a lot of detail and very fine painting of the dead I really like it, and I like how shiny he is. So that is Sam. Um, I'm actually going to end this episode early, um, just because it's getting quite late here, and pick up again in part four. Um, so I'll leave you with Sam. So bye, um, see you in the next video.